Hello and welcome to Veronica Hack. Today I'm going to show you how to do a wonderful stola. It's going to be done with the bobble cotton wool from Woolly Hacks. So the bobble cotton XXL and it's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And yeah, it has a length of a thousand meters and is 250 grams per ball. So you can see the stola is really big and it's 150 centimeters in width and 80 centimeters or in length and 80 centimeters in width. So in order to achieve this specific pattern you're going to need a number of stitches dividable by 24. So 24, 48 or whichever um, number you want plus three more stitches for the height. So I personally did 109 and I did 37 stitches. So if you know my videos from before, then you know I use thicker wool for tutorial so that it's more visible and today that's Woolly Hugs Charity. So I'll do 37 stitches now. This was twenty. Okay, we can get started. As always, we're gonna just transfer the edge stitch to our working needle and then we're gonna do three knit stitches. That's gonna stay that way. Then we do one um, purl stitch, one knit stitch but shorten, and one purl stitch after that. And now we're going to do the 24 stitches that you're always going to keep repeating. So this is where I'm going to mark. And let's get started. So one um, shortened stitch, one purl stitch. Yarn over, one shortened stitch, and one purl stitch after that. One shortened, one purl stitch, one slip stitch over, one purl stitch, and one shortened, one purl stitch, one shortened, again one purl, one shortened, and then again a purl stitch. So after the slip stitch over, we have five purl stitches with one or with three total um, shortened stitches in between. So purl, short, purl, short, purl. Yeah. Then two stitches done together knitwise. And one purl stitch, one um, shortened, one purl, one shortened again, and then a yarn over. Okay, one purl stitch, one shorten, and one purl stitch again. So now we have 20 stitches, and that's the pattern we're going to keep repeating. Let's end with a shorten stitch and a purl stitch. Then we're going to do three stitches. and the edge stitch. Okay. 
In row two, we're going to do the stitches as they come. So the edge stitch we transfer as always, and then the first three stitches we're always going to do knitwise after the edge stitch that we transfer. So stitches that I see here as knit stitches, I'm going to do knitwise again, and the purl stitches I'm going to do um, purlwise shortened. And we're going to keep repeating this now, so a knit stitch and a short knit purl stitch. And keep repeating. The yarns over, we're also going to do purl wise. shortened one mid stitch and we keep going. Don't forget the yarns over, we do those purlwise and that's the pattern that we're going to keep repeating. Then one knit stitch, one purl stitch shortened, one knit stitch and the three um, knit stitches we always do knitwise. Now we transfer the edge stitch, three knit stitches, as I said this stays the same. And then we do one purl stitch, one shortened knit stitch, purl stitch after that. And then we begin to have the pattern. One knit stitch shortened, one purl stitch, one knit stitch shortened, and a yard over. One knit stitch shortened, one purl stitch, again shortened and purl stitch. The following two stitches we do together knitwise. Then one shortened, one purl, one shortened, one purl again. The following two we do knitwise together. Then we do purl stitch, one shortened stitch, one purl stitch. Again, you know the drill. And we end with a purl stitch in this section. There we go, we end with a purl stitch and we're done with the pattern. So now we do one shortened, one um, purl stitch and three knit stitches and we'll be done with row number three. Fourth row, edge stitch and three knit stitches, and then we do the stitches as they come. One knit stitch, one purl stitch shortened, and then we again start with the pattern. One knit stitch, one purl shortened, knit stitch, purl shortened. Keep going like that, and yarns over are always purl wise. You see these are pretty relaxing so we just keep changing the two stitches. And we're again done with this pattern section. 
So then we do knit stitch, one short knit purl, and three knit stitches then. Edge stitch also always knit wise. In row 5, we do 3 knit stitches after the edge stitch, and then 1 purl stitch, 1 knit stitch shortened, and 1 more purl stitch, and then we start with the pattern. 1 shortened, 1 purl, 1 shortened, 1 purl, and then a yarn over. Then 1 um, shortened, 1 purl, 1 shortened, 1 purl again, and then a simple slip stitch over. Purl stitch, shortened, purl stitch, and two knitwise them together. Then one purl, one shortened, one purl, one shortened again, and then a yarn over, and then a purl, one shortened, purl, one shortened, and one more time like that. And then we're gonna have, and then we get our 24 pattern stitches. And then we do three mid stitches here at the end, and we're done with row five. Stitch three knit stitches. One knit stitch and one short and purl stitch. And then we start the pattern. One knit stitch, one short and purl. One more time the two. Yarn over and then after that, short and purl, knit and keep repeating. Here, yarn over curl wise, and then continue again. We're almost done, and then we're gonna keep repeating, and then we reach the three knit stitches here and the edge stitch, which means row six is done. After the edge stitch, three knit stitches as always, then one purl stitch, one short knit stitch, one purl stitch, and then we can get started with the pattern. So shortened purl, shortened purl. Here we do a yarn over and then we continue. Here, the simple slip stitch over, and then two done together, and then purl, shortened, purl, shortened, then again a yarn over, one shortened, one purl, one shortened, one purl, one more time for two, and that's what you keep repeating. And then one short knit, one purl, and the three knit stitches at the end. A 
Okay, now we're repeating the pattern. Knit stitch, shortened purl stitch, knit stitch, shortened purl stitch, knit stitch, and then a shortened purl stitch and a yarn over. Then shortened knit stitch, um, purl stitch, then knit stitch, shortened purl stitch, knit stitch, and then two times um, purl stitch shortened, and then keep switching. Here we do a yarn over. We end with a shortened purl and then we're done. So that means that we have one knit stitch, one shortened purl and three knit stitches. So this is how you keep developing the pattern. And the slip stitch over can also be done together with um, the two knit stitches together. So I do those purl-wise shortened, but of course you don't have to, that's just my preference. Row 9 we do 3 knit stitches and then 1 purl stitch, 1 shortened knit stitch and 1 purl stitch. And then we'll start with the pattern. With a yarn over right away, then 1 shortened, 1 purl, 1 shortened, 1 purl, and 1 more shortened and purl. And you just keep going like that. So after the yarn over, we have, let's see, five shortened and, and five purl stitches. So now we're gonna do um, this next stitch we're just gonna transfer. The next two we're gonna do together and then the first one we transferred goes, that one goes over them. There we go. And then we can again start, it, start with one purl, one shortened knit. So one shortened knit, one purl, and then three knit stitches. In row 10, we do three knit stitches after the edge stitch. Then one knit stitch and one shortened purl. And then we do a knit stitch, the yarn over we do purl wise, then purl wise shortened knit wise, then again shortened purl and knit, and again, and one more time, and again. all the way until we get to the yarn over from last row that um, we do a purl stitch then a knit stitch a shortened purl and three stitches before the edge stitch are knit wise as always
Row 11 is the last row for the pattern, so 3 knit stitches and then 1 purl stitch and 1 short knit and 1 purl stitch, then you can start the pattern 1 short knit, yarn over 1 short knit, 1 purl stitch 1 short knit, 1 purl stitch again then a slip stitch over then 1 knit stitch or one short knit stitch and then one purl stitch and then we keep repeating that and now that I'm at the stitch that I did the doubled um, doubled stitch with the one fold over we do again one short knit, one purl, one short knit, one purl and one short knit again and then the two stitches knit wise together Shortened purl, shortened yarn over, then again a shortened and a purl stitch. There we go. And now you're going to keep repeating these 24 for the length of your stola. And then three knit stitches, or knit stitch, one purl, and then three knit stitches over the end. Row 12 are 3 knit stitches after the edge stitch, then 1 knit and 1 short knit purl. And then we have the pattern 1 knit stitch, 1 short knit purl, 1 knit, 1 short knit purl, and we keep repeating that. So you see we just do the, the, uh, the yarns over purlwise and the rest we just keep repeating um, or we keep doing them as we see them, as they are. And then we are done with this one as well and you see the pattern there and then we do um, knitwise, purlwise shortened and three knit stitches. Okay, and these 12 rows you're going to keep repeating until you reach your desired length or you run out of yarn and you're satisfied with your result. So you can of course, you can pick here if you want to do these that are pulled over um, purl wise in the other row or shortened with shortened purl stitches that's completely up to you depending on what kind of stitch you prefer. So I hope you guys enjoyed, feel free to shoot a thumbs up to let me know. You can also subscribe and if you do, don't forget the notification bell. So I hope to see you in one of my next projects. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!